Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Rockap in the x to improve recording performance. So basically, when you're recording, a lot of this activity is being done, a lot of writing is being done to the hard drive, and um, your hard drive may not be fast enough if your quality is set very high. So what Rockap does is it actually separates the workload into two hard drives, and you split split it into two files which you then later can combine it into one video file which you can use to edit and do whatever you want so here is my the locations where um, I've set to record um, it's usually blank if you just started using the X-Story you can just go ahead press here and add, add the locations where you want to record I recommend putting t at least two different hard drives and here what you want to do is just click on the button and click bench which is benchmark and just go ahead and run <coughs> this will tell you how fast your hard drive is this is important because later on you need to you need to know this so that it tell you how fast your hard drive can write um, you want to do that for two hard drives um, it's about, um, there was a starter it's about 80 uh, whatever so I've set set my accordingly already so um, here under the codec settings, the, the movie settings. Um, so the first thing you want to do is change the file format to raw cap. AVI is the single file format and raw cap is the multiple one. And you can convert it to AVI later. There's a formula you can use if you're using the DX30 codec. So so here what what this formula does is actually it'll tell you how f at what quality you set, how, how much um, speed you actually need how much writing speed you actually need so for me I'm going to record it using YUV24 in 30 frames per second at 1080p so just bring out the calculator and quickly do the math so this will be the bit rate that um, it's going to be recording at and the speed that you actually need so go ahead and um just go to Google, type in byte to megabyte converter or something like that and just copy and paste. So this will be the speed that you need megabytes per second which is what here uses. So if you do the math, 128 plus 80, that should be more than enough um, to record at that quality. So right now I'm going to record a sample and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so I'm inside CSGO here and I'm also recording using the X3. Um, I'll go ahead buy a gun. So what's happening right now is that the workload is being split between the two hard drives and um, the um, recording should be less laggy and your frame rate shouldn't drop as much. Oh, that's a hog stitch. Whoa. Um, I'll link this map in the description. It's quite a fun map to play friends. I'm just going to collect some footage here. So after recording, what will happen is that in these two folders, um, you get rocket files right here um, they are very big in size uh, the x is always big so what you want to do is actually you can what you want to do is convert these two files into an AVI file um, to do that go down here there's a button just click it it's a raw cap converter uh, this software will pop up any raw cap recordings you have recorded will be will be shown here there's, there's some extra settings here you can set I recommend setting this um, source files are deleted when build completes so what this hap what happens is that these raw cap files will get deleted after creating the AVI files so uh, output folder where you want the out where you want the output folder to be for the AVI file so just go ahead and build and I'll skip ahead
Okay, once you're done building the file, um, this will pop up if you have set that and just click yes, you'll delete the rocket files. And in this folder here, in you'll find an AVI file where your original rocket files were located. You'll find an AVI file that is rendered, uh, 7.94 gigs, which is uh, a combination of the two. Very big. Yeah. Okay, so um, then you see here that here's the video. Um, there is sound, but it's just not the right audio stream. Um, well, my dexter isn't set to record the sound, so so as you can see here, here's the video. Um, hopefully this improves your computer performance in recording. If your hard drive is actually the 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 bottleneck, what you can do is actually buy an external hard drive. Make sure it's USB three. Make sure it's high speed, and you can use it and connect it and just use it to record also to, to se separate the workload so anyway I hope this helps thanks for watching goodbye